do 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 Hey guys, this is GamerCow and I've changed my controller slightly so that I can save and load state off of my um gamepad because I happen to have two spare slots, but don't expect me to be using that, it's just because having them on F2 and F4 is extremely inconvenient for general use, so I'm going to experiment for a while. Now, I should be doing work at this point, but I'm deciding to screw that just now because I'm really not in the mood to do it, so I said I'd do this last time, so let's go for it. Peace Switch Castle. You can tell even just by the name that it's going to be a thing, you know, but um, we have these stupid springy block things and we have falling spikes, you know, just, and we have already a stupid hit. Ah, uh, fam, yeah. I hope that's, mm, maybe it is a sign of things to come. Um, I didn't think that block was going to do that, actually, so... But yeah, we have lots of these some um, slightly annoying spike jumps, and we have these weird platforms. And yeah, we have a Whomp, who is pretty angry. I've, I've never worked out why they're always so angry, but you know, we have a P-Switch, you know, being the P-Switch castle. And we have lava underneath us, so there's not much point in going down. Uh, well, there's the rest of winged platform. Um, yeah, there's another piece switch. Only this time we have to be careful there. And get that, get the midpoint, and yeah, it's an early midpoint for a late level, so this is where the thing really starts. Yeah, it's auto scroll with P switches. Isn't this going to be amazing fun? Haha. <laughs> So we have these spin block jumps, and we have, well, it's not too bad at the start. It gets hard later on, but for the start it's okay. And the, yeah, they introduce spikes, so, you know, you can't, you've got to jump over in one clean shot. And, oh, yeah, early mess up, oh, uh, back in a sec. Okay, let's try and not fail this time. So, we've got spring jumps, and... Oh, oh boy. The whole single platform thing, or single block platforms, is what makes this awkward. You know, not necessarily the hardest thing ever, but it would be a lot easier with, um, with a cave. But as I said last time, who needs caves? Uh, so, we change things up a bit. We have a shell. And that's now going into lava because I don't care about it. And thank you, Mr. Wingbot, for taking us over. And hey there, little sparky dudes, how are you doing? Ah, oh, chainsaw. So that's the end of the first section. You know, the, there's two bits to this. And this is the one that's really difficult. Um. Partly, I think it scrolls faster, although I've never really paid too much attention to that, but, you know, we've got random chainsaws, and we have this awkward little jump set here, where that constantly gets in the way. Ah, well. We managed to survive that one, at least. Uh, oh. Oh. No. That's cruel. Ah. <sighs> Alright, uh, Mr. Block, I know your game. I know you don't have a secret in you this time, so let's just go. Mr. Sparky Dude, I would appreciate you not hitting me. You know, Mr. Saw can go away as well. And hey, there's a Fwomp. And there's his buddy. And oh, hey, there's a third one as well. Isn't that swell? Oh, for... Why, Cal? Why? You know, I just realized, with me having save and load states on, you know, my gamepad now, I don't actually need to have, um, the function key available to me, so I can actually just have the mic slightly closer, you know, um, so that you guys can hopefully hear me even better. 
Okay, so last time we were at this stupid little thwomp jump, which I somehow managed to mess up. You know, it's it's the most basic thing in the world, and I still screw it up. Ah, so we have the shell, so we need that to get a piece of Come on. Thank you. And I think that's the main challenge over, providing I get this right. And duck, jump, and... There we go, right. What else? Uh, winged block, thank you. Over the spike, and yeah, th this has gone a lot easier than it used to. Ah, thank goodness for that. So we just have to take on Roy now, which isn't too difficult, right? And you are dead, Mr. Roy. Ha! In your face. Yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Um,. So, yeah, that's Roy's castle cleared. Huh. Well, I guess that's a good thing, because I wanted to do the secret as well, so, or at least get the secret exit, so not taking too long and too many lies for that is a good thing. Ha, and the castle blows up in your face. Now, with Roy defeated, the forest doesn't seem that mysterious. Well, it still does. There's still half a million exits in there, so... Oh, well. And uh, Rhino Jungle is next, which will lead to the dangerous Cooper Desert. Ooh. Well, the desert level was quite annoying, actually, so that's a justified one. Right, well, we're we are not going into Rhino's Road at the moment. We are going back into here, so I will see you in a minute when I get to the secret. Okay, I won an honest show of hands. Who saw this coming? Hmm? Because I sure didn't, and I was playing this the first time. <laughs> it took ages to find that. So, avoid all the dids, and we go into the secrets. Which is pretty great, you know? It's quite nicely in time at the moment. Uh, yeah, you know, I think I might as well have a go at this. It's a bit of a thing. You know, the, the last section of this is quite hard, but... The whole music aspect of this is so great that I might as well have a go. It's my favourite zone from the original, the Starlight. So, up your music. And try not to die straight away. Now, you guys won't be able to see the rails here, but I can just about make them out. And... Yeah, up the pipe. So, there's a lot of bombs going on, you know, because they're quite... You know, we're kin to this level. And we have Sonic the Spiny. And we have Charlie, who is just being annoying as always. Trying to use the same idea from Spiny Woods, you know, to use a the bomb all the way, but it didn't quite work. But, whoa! Yeah, it's kind of too bad you guys won't be able to see the rails, but then, hell, I can't see them at the moment either, so... <laughs> So, into the door we go, and yeah, where are we? Ah, uh, well, there's Charlie, and there's a the disco. Go away, Mr. Disco, I don't like you. Whoa, second disco. Ah, uh, and yeah, this is the difficult part. We are in the cloud, and we have to avoid the baseballs, and the best way to do that is to stun him. Yep, so, sumo guy, just keep on sumoing. Volcano plant dudes just keep on being volcanoes. And there's Happy Cooper, which has lost his wings. And yeah. And uh, yeah, this is where it gets annoying if you, you know, don't really time things very well because there's a whole ton of Super Coopers just wanting to ruin your day. But thankfully the generator was all behind me this time, so I don't have to worry about it. And whoa! Baseball attack! Ugh. Oh, come on! What? Alright, oh, you, you're not getting the best of me this time. Because I have a shell artillery. So in your face. Ugh. Okay, this time in your face, ha, huh. right, 
So if you wanted the secret, I think it's fairly obvious where you go, but we're not getting it this time, we're just getting the normal exit. I guess I've got enough time actually, because of editing, I'll just get back to this point and show you the secret afterwards. Ugh, I had it on the first freaking block as well, and oh... Oh well, two lives is better than nothing. Okay, going under the goal like it was nothing, cause it really isn't that bad, avoiding baseball, avoiding the flurry of baseballs. But it's okay cause we have a cloud, and now we don't have a cloud cause I threw it away, but instead I got a key so who really cares. And there we go, that is the world 5 basically done. But we have areas I haven't gone to yet I suppose, so yep, join us next time where we are going to go into the unknown. Isn't that going to be grand? Yeah, it really might be actually. Um, yeah, so this is Gamer Carl, and next time we're going into the Mana Fortress. See you guys.